I am so glad you're here because today we're learning all about directing groups in organic chemistry. When performing electrophilic aromatic substitution on monosubstituted benzenes, there are two distinct patterns of behavior. In pattern one, substituents direct the reaction to give either ortho or para products, with a slight preference for para. Examples of ortho and para directors are hydroxyl groups, ethers, amines, alkyl groups, thiols, and halogens. In the second pattern, a different family of substituents direct the reaction to give primarily meta or 1,3 products. Examples of meta directors include nitriles, carbonyl compounds, sulfones, electron deficient alkyl groups, nitro groups, and alkyl ammoniums. The key to understanding whether or not a substituent is going to be ortho and para directing or meta directing all comes down to carbocation stability. Consider an example of electrophilic aromatic substitution, wherein you're adding an electrophile at the ortho position. And let's consider a scenario where the substituent is this hydroxyl or alcohol group. This has generated a new carbocation where we have placed a carbocation at this position at the primary carbon where that hydroxyl group is. And remember that due to conjugation of these dienes, there are several resonance structures that we can draw for this intermediate. So these are intermediates. And remember that the pi electrons are delocalized in this aromatic system. So the electrons can move over to generate a completely different carbocation species where now we have generated a carbocation at the meta position here. And then remember that these other pi electrons are still conjugated and can move over as well to generate a third intermediate, wherein we have a carbocation that is placed at the other meta position. So we still have our hydroxyl group here. And now we have our carbocation that's going to be placed at this position here. And our electrophile is still attached. And now we have another example of carbocation stability through a fourth resonance structure. So we have generated three already. And that fourth one happens if these pi electrons on the electron donating group come down, pushing all of the electrons over, generating a brand new positively charged species, wherein the oxygen is now holding that positive charge. So this has moved all of our pi electrons. We still have our electrophile. And then from here, all we need to do is a proton transfer to generate our product. So these are all resonance structures that are part of that intermediate. And now at once we do our deprotonation in electrophilic aromatic substitution, that this would generate our final product, which would place the electrophile at the ortho position. And this is our final product. And due to the stability of these different resonance structures, we see that this is a viable pathway because each of these resonance structures provide a stable pathway for which this product formation to occur. Now let's consider an example where we have meta substitution. Now let's consider a benzene where one of the substituents is trifluoromethyl. If we follow the same exact pathway, we can do electrophilic aromatic substitution, placing the electrophile at the ortho position, generating one of these stable intermediates that are stabilized through resonance. So remember what that means is that these pi electrons can move because they are conjugated, allowing us to generate a, another intermediate where the carbocation location has moved, where now the carbocation position is on the other meta position. And then we can also generate a third resonance stabilized carbocation, where now we have placed the carbocation on this top carbon that is connected to the substituent trifluoromethyl. Now notice that these fluorines, remember those are highly electronegative which means that this is a very electron withdrawing substituent, CF3. And what that means, if we think about the inductive effects, is that it's going to destabilize this carbocation. 
In fact, this is pulling the electron density so much towards that trifluoromethyl group that it's unlikely that this is going to provide a very stable resonance structure. And for that reason, that means that this substituent in particular is not going to favor any sort of ortho substitution. In fact, let's consider what might happen if it instead added in the meta position. With trifluoromethyl as our substituent, if we do electrophilic aromatic substitution to place the electrophile at the meta position or the the 1, 3 position of this uh, substituted benzene, then we generate a carbocation at the ortho position. And remember, through resonance stabilization, these pi electrons can move. This would then generate a new resonance structure where we have placed the pi electrons at these positions, leaving an, a different ortho substituted carbocation. And then we can generate a third resonance structure where these pi electrons are the ones that are moving, generating a brand new carbocation, where now our pi electrons are located at these positions with a carbocation in this para position. And notice that this does allow for three different resonance stabilized structures, indicating that the pathway to doing meta substitution is more favored than the previous example where we had this very strongly electron withdrawing group positioned at a location that did not allow for ortho or para substitution. For this reason, when considering the substituents on the monosubstituted benzene and whether or not they will direct things to add in a ortho-para fashion or a meta fashion, we need to consider the resonance stabilized forms of the intermediates that occur as part of this mechanism. Now let's try some practice problems. I'd like for you to pause this video, try these problems independently to gauge your understanding, and then resume the video to see my explanation. For para substitution, we draw the electrophilic aromatic substitution occurring at the 4 position, allowing us to generate several different resonance structures that might help stabilize carbocations in the system. For these examples, we are placing the electrophile at that para position, and then notice that this generates a carbocation at the meta position. We can use resonance stabilization to generate various resonance structures, which might help explain why a group like a methoxy group, which has those pi electrons that can donate into the aromatic ring to help stabilize this structure. So again, we are generating several different resonance structures. And notice that one of these contains a carbocation at this methoxy position. And remember that these electrons can donate down to help stabilize this carbocation, generating a new structure which is relatively stable and now has a positive charge at the oxygen portion of the methoxy group. This has then regenerated our species. And then we also know that these pi electrons can come down, these can kick over, and these can also move. And if we we're doing a proton transfer, we would get our product, which would allow us to add in the para position. And this all comes down to evaluating whether or not the substituents on monosubstituted benzene are going to be ortho and para directors or they're going to be meta directors. Important things to look out for are whether or not there are pi electrons that can be donated into the electromatic, electrophilic ring. Examples of this are going to be substituents that do contain lone pairs. So for the, this example, halogens are going to be pi donors. Groups that contain lone pairs are oftentimes going to be, be pi donors, and therefore those are going to be ortho and para directing, typically in about a 1 to 1 50-50 mix of ortho and para substitution. Conversely, meta directors are going to be the ones that are very electron withdrawing or don't have any lone pairs with which to donate into the pi system. Examples of this include carbonyls for example, which are going to be very electron withdrawing groups. So if you consider a carbonyl group that's attached to the benzene, this is going to pull the electron density there, and therefore it's not going to be able to st stabilize a carbocation at that position that is substituted on benzene. For the final question, we're evaluating different substituents to determine whether or not they would be ortho-para-directing groups or meta-directing groups for electrophilic aromatic substitution.
For the first group, we have SO3H, and this is going to be a meta director because it does not contain any lone pairs on the sulfur. In addition, all of these oxygen atoms are going to be very strongly electron withdrawing, and therefore there are no electrons with which to donate into the pi system of the benzene ring. For this reason, we would expect that upon electrophilic aromatic substitution, we would get meta addition. For the next group, we're looking at a methyl group. Remember that methyl is electron donating. Therefore, even though there are no pi electrons or lone pairs on this carbon, we would expect for this to be an ortho and para donator. Okay, so this would be an activating group towards ortho and para. For the third example, we're looking at a carbonyl group that contains an ac acetyl group where we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And anytime you see that, that's going to be a strongly electron withdrawing group. And anytime you have a strongly electron withdrawing group, that does, is not going to allow any pi electrons to be donated into the system. And for that reason, upon electrophilic or aromatic substitution, we would say that that is a meta director. Now, finally, let's take a look at this example where we have this ester bond that's attached to the carbon on benzene. Importantly, remember that this oxygen atom has two lone pairs, and those two lone pairs are in p orbitals, which can donate in a pi symmetrical fashion into the pi system of the benzene ring. And for that reason, we would expect that this would be an ortho and para director. So importantly, when evaluating the different substituents, it's important to look at a few things. Are the substituents electron withdrawing or electron donating? Secondly, are there going to be pi electrons, like an example for a chloro, halogen, notice that there are several lone pairs which can donate in a pi fashion into the pi system. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more chemistry content. And if you have any questions at all, drop it as a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you out. See you in the next video.